So you're telling me that I have to eat and live like Greg Bissett for a day? 15 seconds later. What are you doing in there? Nothing. Brendan, oh my gosh, what are you doing? I just wanted him to look like baby naked. is going on guys and welcome back to this week's YouTube video. So if you guys follow my channel you'll know that a couple weeks ago I ended up purchasing Coach Greg Desset's Anabolic Cookbook. If you guys have been following any of my most recent videos you'll probably know that I am on a small lean bulk. So I'm gonna be 100% honest I did but end up buying the cookbook but I haven't broken it open yet and so that is exactly what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna start trying to incorporate some of Greg's low calorie dense foods into my diet to see if it can help me uh, stay lean throughout the entirety of this lean bull. If you guys are at all fans of Greg Desette's channel, then you definitely, definitely know what we are going to be eating for breakfast. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do have experience making this. Hey mom, where's the big ass pan? It's in the small cupboard to the... Need a big ass pan for some white ass bread. Damn, if that doesn't look amazing. Final piece of the puzzle. Oh boy, am I excited for this. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. It wouldn't be morning breakfast without the legend himself. All right guys, so that is the first meal of the day finished up. I'll go ahead and throw the macros up right here just for you guys to have uh, as a reference. So that is a lot less calories in that meal uh, than is in my normal breakfast and I am stuffed. So we'll see how long I can make it uh, till my next meal. And it wouldn't be living like Greg set for a day if we didn't go on a bike ride. So I don't do very much uh, structured cardio, but I do try to get out and just be active every single day, whether that's like throwing a Frisbee, mowing lawns, you know, I just try to move around a lot. I had to pump up the tires because I have not ridden in a while. Hey, new. One thing that is for sure, it's a lot easier to bike harder than last time when you haven't been biking at all. I think I'm lost. Alright guys, just finished that up. Wasn't hard at all. Get myself completely out of breath, but... I really should do it more often. If you guys are enjoying the video this far, just be sure to drop a like on the video as well as a comment down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Brennan underscore C underscore Clark, where I post a lot more of my day-to-day -day activities. Also, go follow Greg Deset if you are not on his Instagram already at Greg Deset IFBB Pro. All right, you guys, so it is almost 12 o'clock. You're going to be attempting to make the chicken burger. So I do have some chicken that's already marinated, so hopefully this won't be too complicated.
So I did have to add in a little bit of turkey just because I didn't quite have 200 grams of chicken, but it'll definitely get the job done. We got two pieces of regular ass white bread. We have spring mix for the vegetables. We have marinated chicken. And then I also added in a little bit of turkey. Uh, but then I also drizzled it with a uh, gravy that was just left over from the marinade. And, that, and this is my first time spraying the bread with cooking spray before I made my sandwich. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. Alright you guys, so that was absolutely delicious. Next up, we're going to try our hand at making some apple goop. And so this is almost the finished product. All we gotta do now is throw it in the microwave. I am so interested to try this. 15 seconds later. All right, you guys, and that is the finished product right there. The apples are nice and mushy. And man, this thing expanded a lot. <laughs> so let's try it out. That's pretty good. It's really weird. The texture is quite strange. I'm not sure if I like it yet. You know what this might taste really good on? Is a chocolate rice cake. For those of you guys who don't know, chocolate rice cakes are like my guilty pleasure. And dipping them in maple syrup. Whoo! Overall, I'd probably give the apple goop around like a seven out of 10. Like it tasted good and it would definitely be like a really good topping on something, but I'm just not 100% sure if I like the texture so much, but I'm gonna keep eating it, see if it grows on me at all. Uh, we will see, but for not right now, seven out of 10, but yeah, decent, definitely filling, that's for sure. But right now what we're gonna do is right here, I have a 100 calorie bag of popcorn, and so I'm gonna go outside, sit in the sun for a little while, cause your boy has been getting pasty and it's not good. I hate being like extremely white, but it actually snowed here a couple of days ago. Can you believe that? Yeah, it snowed here literally like two days ago, but now it's like 90 degrees out. And so we're gonna go outside and try to get tanner than last time. All right, and now it is time for the gym and our goal, train harder than last time.
Alright you guys, so finish that workout up and I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys really fast that if you are interested in easily customizable workout training programs, be sure to go to brandonclarkfitness.com and check them out. I have a full body hypertrophy program, a push pull legs program, as well as my eight day super split. I know that Greg Desette released his training program a while back, so his cookbook isn't the only thing that he's selling now. Maybe if this video catches traction, I'll go ahead and buy it and do like a week of training from that. All right, so for dinner, we're going to be having wraps. Uh, and what he has on here is a Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Lavish uh, tortilla uh, to make his wrap. But since I do not have any of those, we're going to go with one of these, which is a Don Poncho carb control wrap and basically they're 80 calories each uh, while one of the ones that Greg is using is 60 calories. These are probably a little bit more than 80 calories I'd assume if we weighed it out but that's okay. We are going to make do with what we have. And the beef that I'm going to be using, uh, it's not super lean but it is 90-10 uh, um, and we drain all of the fat out of it after, so it's probably somewhere around like 95.5. I really have not eaten that many calories today, so this is gonna have to be a pretty sizable meal. <laughs> but that's good, it means that it, the diet is doing its job. Alright guys, so my grandparents showed up, uh, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover for this, but basically what I did is I made two of those wraps. Uh, I, instead of the Walden Farms mustard, I used salsa and Cholula, and then I ended up making two of the wraps with beef, and then actually ended up making a third one uh, that had chicken in it. Um, on both of them, I used onions and spring mix, and I will tell you, that was absolutely delicious. I'm super full. I only ended up having one bag of popcorn uh, along with that fruit bowl and then I also finished my sparkling ice. So that was pretty much dinner and I am super, super stuffed after it. All right, you guys, last meal of the day. I'm really tired. That workout kind of took it out of me. So in the presence of fan friends and family, we're going to uh, make some anabolic ice cream finish off the day. Very exciting. Oh, and be sure to check out my original video where I make it if you guys want the recipe, but I do replace almond milk. Uh, instead of almond milk, I use Greek yogurt, which is monumentally better. Makes it taste a lot more creamy. We're gonna have to use triple berry instead of strawberries because we apparently don't have any. Yep, yep, yeah. We have blackberries. Oh well. Eh, that's fine. Yeah, mission accomplished. I'm always so scared to do this. Do it, just uh, do it. What if it comes out? Then it comes out, man. Solid, that's good enough, look at that. Does, that. does that count? Sure. That's your clickbait. Uh, pretty, look at that. Uh, there's no jiggle. <laughs> mm. All right, well, there you go, boys. Last meal of the day, filled with protein. Uh, very low calorie day, for sure. Um, we got probably somewhere around like 2,500 calories in today. It hasn't been that much at all, but I haven't really noticed it because Low calorie dense foods are the way to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this off. Uh, you know, the chocolate syrup, Walden Farms. Throw some <laughs> of that on here. Uh, yeah, absolutely delicious. Thicker than last time for sure. Uh, be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content.
All right, you guys, so that is going to finish up this week's YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys do struggle with staying as lean as you want to be, trouble trying to figure out what you're going to eat, I would seriously recommend uh, buying Greg Desette's cookbook. It's just, even the way that it's organized is so simple. The recipes are easy, even for somebody like me who like literally doesn't know how to cook at all. I can still figure out most of the recipes. I'm going to continue to use it. A cookbook like this that is going to allow you to stay lean but also enjoy your diet in the process, it's really hard to put a price tag on something like that. So Greg Desette's cookbook, I will give it a 10 out of 10 for sure. So I kept eating the apple goop and it actually grew on me quite a bit. So I'm gonna bump the apple goop up to an eight out of 10. I actually liked it better after I had put it in the refrigerator and then re-microwaved it. It just, like for some reason, I felt like the texture was better. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's YouTube video. Be sure to drop a comment uh, down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have Greg Desette's cookbook? Have you tried his anabolic French toast? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in next week's YouTube video. And even if it did, who cares? At least it'll be dying straight.